Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. It is our update for Sunday, January 3rd, 2021. Free pick coming up in Week 17 NFL action. We'll get to that. Uh, first, wanted to say thanks and appreciate all of you who jumped on board throughout this football season, whether it was day one, middle of the season, or just yesterday for the College Bowl game of the year, the eight-star play. Thanks to those of you who jumped on board. Uh, we won the eight-star with Iowa State, 34-17 over the Oregon Ducks, which made us down 3 and with our eight-star plays this season, college and pro football combined. Also wanted to say thanks to those of you who have been on board the last 10 college football Saturdays. I hate the fact that we've got no more college football Saturdays because over the last 10, we've hit 71% of our college football plays and we've garnered over $4,400 for $100 per unit betters. Just since December 12th, we've picked up almost $4,300 in college and NFL combined. Again, hitting about 70% over the past three weeks. College and Pro combined, over $4,200 won, almost $4,300 for $100 per unit betters. And just since December 21st, we're now 10 and 2, 83% in College and Pro football combined. As far as the bowls, we finished with just one loss the entire bowl season. That was a three-star on San Jose State. We garnered uh, about $2,500 uh, for $100 per unit players this bowl season. So it was an outstanding run for the last 10 weeks. You know, again, I wanted to say thanks to those of you who just jumped on board. 3-0 so far in 2021, going 2-0 in New Year's Day bowl action, and of course the eight-star win yesterday. Now let's finish up with the 3-0 sweep on Sunday. Uh, we've got three sides in the NFL on Sunday on my homepage, available right now at DocSports.com, and the lead play is a six-star play. Here's the thing. After yesterday's eight-star win, we are now 70 and 46. That's 60% against the spread with our elite level college and pro football plays. That goes back several seasons. So let's finish up strong Sunday's week 17 led by a six-star play three plays at all on Sunday as we'll aim for the sweep also got a college basketball play on Sunday one college basketball play and we have a soccer play a plus money play in soccer uh, one or no yesterday our second play which was supposed to go early Sunday morning was Burnley five-star play but it has been postponed so we'll look to make it two and oh in soccer for the weekend after winning the first game yesterday one more to go on Sunday afternoon let's get to the free play for Sunday and we are going to back Houston plus the points over Tennessee. Real quick note, first of all, I've got about 16 books in front of me on my screen, and there are several that have Tennessee minus seven. There are several that have Houston at plus seven and a half. So if you like Tennessee, don't lay more than seven. Shop around. If you're on Houston, certainly don't take less than seven and a half. Again, shop around. When you look at this Houston team, obviously they've been disappointed. J.J. Watt expressed that uh, about as well as anybody could last week in a press conference. So it has not gone as well as they expected, obviously. And that started before the season even began when they traded away arguably the best receiver in the NFL with Hopkins going to Arizona, let him get away. Uh, but not just that. I mean, this team has had six losses this season that were decided by seven points or less. That's how close Houston is to actually being a contender, at least, for a playoff spot. Six losses by seven points or less. And if you go back to one of those six-point losses, it happened in overtime, and that came to this Tennessee team. And in that game, I'll tell you what, you know, it took till the very last second for Tennessee to tie the game in the fourth quarter and send it to OT. And in fact, there were four seconds to go in regulation when they got that game tying touchdown. And their running back, Henry, gained over 200 yards and they still needed overtime to beat this Houston Texans team. Here's the thing about Houston in that game. Deshaun Watson had a humongous game in that contest, and I think he's going to have a good game again here. Uh, they're saying that his injury is fine. He's going at least 90%. Tennessee has no pass rush. They've got 15 sacks in 15 games. The fewest sacks, and this is reported elsewhere, but the fewest sacks by a team to make the playoffs in a 16-game season was the 1979 Denver Broncos who finished with 19 sacks. Tennessee needs four sacks just to tie for the low for that record. Only four teams have finished a 16-game season with 16 or fewer sacks. So again, you've got Deshaun Watson who attacked Tennessee, didn't have to worry about a pass rush last time. He's going to try to do it again here. They'll be able to run the ball.
wall a little bit. And I think there's a great chance that they're going to not only hang this number, but stick around and maybe even shock Tennessee. Bottom line is, I, I think they're worth taking a shot at plus the points in this one. And I wanted to say real quickly that, yeah, Tennessee's playing for something. They can clinch uh, the AFC South with a win or an Indianapolis Colts loss. They can qualify for a playoff spot uh, with a loss from the Baltimore Ravens or the Miami Dolphins. So there's a few ways that Tennessee can make it to the playoffs. And again, uh, they've got a shot at the AFC South. So we know they're going to be playing for something here. We just think Houston is going to come out playing hard and keep this game close. Uh, if you like the videos, by the way, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. Do appreciate those of you who have done so thus far. And again, star the show for me on Sunday. Six star play in the NFL. Three plays overall in the NFL. So check that out if you wish. Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Sunday in the win column. I'll be back here Monday afternoon or Monday evening with my next report. We'll talk to you then.